Division II National Championship tied up. Brother passes it to Brother. Puts it in the air for three, and they win. Biggest shot in the history of Minnesota State. They win the Division II Championship. The Willingham Brothers team up for the game-winning three-pointer. Woo! That's something you missed that you never planned on watching, and this is everything you missed that you never planned on watching, and it's brought to you by DraftKings. Boom, butter doo doo Beep, beep. You. It's week one of the UFL, but this fan has been waiting his entire life for this moment. San Antonio versus DC. I'm going to put my helmet on, strap in, and watch the action. It's the second quarter. There's 14 seconds left, and destroying gets the kick. They ice him. Stupid dummies. He missed. You should have let it just count. Wade Phillips is like, why don't we run that trick play? Because he missed, and they iced him, and let's just take that, and it's a long field goal, so we'll run that trick play. And they say, yeah, let's do it. So now the defense is scrambling. Okay, they're not kicking. The punter, he's going to throw the ball. They're going to run it. They're running around. What's going to happen? Everyone's excited. It's 4th and 11, and who's he going to throw it to? Surely no one's open. What's going on? Oh, the lineman's open. He's right there. Brad Wing throws the pass to Alex Mollett for the touchdown, and everybody's excited. These guys, they got their masks on. They're full of joy. They're full of joy. They're jumping up and down. How are they so prepared? Week one, they love it. He loves it. You know, let's break down the trick play. Our guy, he's flashing. That's the one that makes the catch. How did they get him open? Well, you see, they got... A defender right in front of them. They got two on the edge there. They need to get them away. So what they do is they put everyone in in motion and they go over there. So everyone peels off that edge where our dude is. And now he's got only one guy in front of him and he's going to be rushing. And then this is what happens. Red guards red. Blue guards blue. Green guards green. And purple goes for purple, which leaves our dude in yellow. No one's covering him. So they're all just chasing each other. Number 32 over there is going to go in zone, guarding nobody. There's a point where right here, the green in the center of the screen, he could see yellow and pick him up. But instead, he sees green, the other guy on the line, swinging around. He's like, that must be the play. Yellow's wide open. Everything was devised to just get him wide open and enjoy it. Coaches are going absolutely nuts. It's week one. You got the lead. You got the YouTube kicking sensation. You don't use him. You run the trick play where he's a decoy. Everyone's ecstatic. Look at this catch. Now, did his knee go down? Because you can't really tell from this angle, but at 24, it's like, yeah, what? His knee's down. Shut up, 24. Don't ruin a good thing. The Tour de Flanders was a bit of a mess. We're going uphill, cobblestone road. Is that cobblestone or is it just really muddy? They're all struggling. No one can make it up this hill. This dude, Ivan Garcia Cortina, he's in the lead, but his bike is breaking down. It's just nothing's working. Is the chain off? He's got to take it and run up. And he's all right, though, because majority of the people can't make it up that hill. That is everyone besides Matthew Vanderpoel. And he's going to be right behind him. His bike, beautiful. Whoever makes his bike, they should win all the bike awards because look at that. He's not struggling at all. The other people, a lot of the people behind also have to get off their bike and carry it up, but not Vanderpool. He's awesome. Uh, Mateo Jorgensen, he was in second place. He did all right. You know, a majority of the racers, they get stuck in the mud. It's an ugly scene here. Uh, it's a notorious path in Koppenberg. Uh, wait, the Koppenberg, was, the Koppenberg was removed from the route in 1987 until being reintroduced in 2008. And I think it's pretty fun. I think it's pretty fun. Look at this guy. Everyone else got stuck in the mud. You know, when you're in Alabama, you're driving, you're stuck in the mud. Everybody knows. Pause the traction. But anyway, he wins. The other people lost. But did he win or did his bike win? That's the true question. Should everyone go get this bike? If you're riding in cobblestone, it's that new bike. A little reminder, this breakdown is brought to you by DraftKings. All new customers who bet $5 will get $150 in bonus bets instantly when you use code MISSED. Don't miss it. I bet the other day that the Blue Jays were going to beat the Astros. 
And they did, miraculously, a home run off hater. I don't know what I was thinking. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code MISSED. Bet just $5 on any wager, get 150 in bonus bets instantly. Back to the action that you missed. We had a fun play in the Pro Volleyball Federation, and actually someone tagged me in Reddit when this highlight was going around because we just love the Pro Volleyball Federation over here, and they love that we love that we love that they love that they love us. So anyway, watch this. Uh, you're going to have a nice rally. you got the vibe versus the rise. You know, rise the vibes. That's a, a fun saying if you were to say it. Uh, no one really does. It's kick save. How about that? <clears throat> All the way over. Incredible. You got to win the point. Oh, you got to win the point for it to matter. And you do. And Amelia Dimitrova, Dimitrova, number 14, just a beautiful kick save. Look at this. It redirects off her teammates and she's able to just boop, kicks it right up and over, gets to the ground, gets back up. She's like, guys, come on, please, please, please. I want to celebrate. Please, please. Oh, spin move celebration slide. I haven't seen that a lot. And it's nice. The kick save actually detracts from how they won the point, which is just miscommunication over there on the vibe. Bad vibes on the vibe. <laughs> Joke. Atlanta vibe did win. Did win three sets to one. So who's laughing now? Huh? Now for my favorite topic of the day. We're going to the National Football League, the Alliance Football League, Gaelic football, Dublin versus Ireland here. And Dublin is losing by three, two minutes into stoppage time. And the game's going to end after this crazy possession. We're just pinballing. Look how many people are close. Holy shit. I didn't know you could just drop kick it and punt it from that close. And this guy just screams in number 26's face. They cut the camera away, so we don't have all... All of this, but this dude, number 19 in blue, just just immediately after the goal, screams in number 26's face, and people took exception to that. They didn't like it. And now, this teammate must have taken exception to 19 screaming his face, and 19 must have taken exception to him taking exception, so he just grabs him by the shirt and tosses him around, and now, the big red-headed dude on the red team, he's like, hey, don't toss my friend. He was sticking up for his other friend, and now they're all just throwing each other around, and it's a big melee, and we're tied at the end of play, and we got a big old brawl going on, and he just boots that from two feet away. I mean, if you're going to save that, would have hit you in the face. That's crazy that you can do that. Just a drop kick from inside five feet of everyone's faces nice goal i guess really cool so it goes to pks and here we go we got dublin up first a little stutter step kick oh off the post not good misses it Derry. here we go and nice little lefty poke they're up one nothing let's see if they can bounce back they do one to one is this the Irish guy? They're, they're all Irish, dummy. Red-headed guy that got offended? Maybe. He scores with ease. Here we go. And a save made. Wow. Okay, so now it's two to one, I believe, and three to one. And they're clapping, and they're excited, and, well, that's Gaelic, right? So is that is that Derry three, and Dublin is Athcliffe? Is that Dublin for Ga Gaelic for... Mm, talk better next time you try to pause the video and talk, dummy. Uh, that's not a save, but off the post. So they hit two posts and they lose. What a final match. That kid, he wasn't excited, but his dad's ecstatic. Off the post, goalie celebrates. <sighs> Gaelic football. Derry wins. Derry? Daddy. Derry? Derry. Fuck. I can't do an accent. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate you. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you as always. Subscribe and vote for the fan of the week. That little kid, his dad, another kid, his dad, his kid, dad, son. Who you got?